Hi, I'm glad to see you again. And today, I, I hope you got your palette set up and a big glass of iced tea there and you're ready to paint along with me. And I'm going to have them graphically run all the colors across the screen that we'll use today to do this fantastic painting. And while they're doing that, let's get started and take off here. I've already covered the canvas with a thin, even coat of magic white. And we'll start, and I'll go into a little bit of alizarin crimson, just a small amount. And let's just go up here and let's just play, just here and there. So let's just drop in a little bit of color. Just drop in a little color. I use very little color on your brush. You can always add color, but it's sometimes it's very difficult to try to remove color off the canvas. So use very little color. We don't want to set this guy on fire. We just want a little, little pinkish glow playing here and there. And without washing the brush, I'll go right in to a small amount of phthalo blue. Work it into the bristles. There. Just making little crisscross strokes. Don't kill all your pink. The blue is many, many times stronger than the, than the crimson, so don't kill all your pink. Just sort of fill up the areas in here. And then we'll come back and we'll blend all this together. Today I thought we'd do a, a beautiful, beautiful little soft, quiet painting. Very gentle. Beautiful little painting. Hope you enjoy it. And while I've got blue on the brush, Maybe we'll have a little bit of water. There it is. Just wherever you want it, right in there. Stalo blue. It's a very bright, very pretty blue. Okay, now I'll wash my brush. Get it all nice and clean. Ding! There we are. Now let's go back up in here and very gently we'll just blend all this together. Now you don't want to overblend it. If you overblend it, you'll lose all your little pink areas. They'll go away and leave you. They'll just leave you. There. Okay. Blend it to about, about like that. Take the brush strokes out. And you have a very nice and very effective little sky that's easy to do. Okay, let's just keep using the same old dirty brush. I'll go right into a, a little bit of Van Dyke Brown, a little burn umber. Oh, and we'll just mix it on the brush, just like so. Just pull it down through the color. So there we go. All right, let's go up to the canvas, and let's put in some happy little tree shapes. And just, I'm just looking for some basic shapes here. Don't, don't want a lot of detail. And all we're doing is just sort of touching the canvas. And there, just, just striking the canvas. We'll put in some beautiful little shapes. A little brown, a little burn number. Maybe there's another one that lives right there. Right there. See how easy those are to do? Just drop them in. And don't, don't try to copy just exactly what I'm doing here. Let your imagination go. We don't use any patterns or don't do any tracing. Just, just let it go. Let it happen. Let it happen. That's what makes it fun, is when you learn to create on canvas. That's when it's fun. And this is just background color. We're really not, we're not worried a great deal about it at this point. We'll worry later when we start putting all the highlights in it. That's when we separate all these little individuals. Right now we just want some very soft, quiet little trees. Very quiet. These are the these are the kind of paintings that, that, that my mother likes, so maybe I'll just dedicate this one to my mommy. You know, I'm, I'm an old man, but I'm still, I'm still a mommy's boy, and I really don't care who knows it. She's, she's my favorite lady in the whole world. So this is her painting. This is for her. Beautiful lady should have a beautiful painting. Okay, okay, that easy, that easy. We got some nice little background shapes. Yeah, that's just all we're looking for right now. It's just very basic, very basic little shapes. Don't want a lot of work. Have fun. Just drop it in. 
already we're beginning to make out all kind of form. And we really haven't done anything. Okay, while we got this color going, shoot, let's just have some fun here. Same color. And I'll just very quickly lay in some color right along here. And we don't care where it goes right now. We'll make all these decisions later. Just some dark, so when we start putting some light in here, all kinds of beautiful little things will happen. <laughs> Boy, I bet you're sitting there saying, he's really messed up this time. And you may be right. Okay, <clears throat> let's take uh, our liner brush, and I'm going to put a little bit of paint thinner on it and go right into some, some of the same color where it mixed together. This is the Van Dyke Brown and the Burn Umber. And I've made the paint quite thin with paint thinner. Okay, now maybe there's, we'll go up in here and we'll just put the indication of a few tree trunks here and there. And we're not looking still for a great, great amount of detail. Just wherever you think some limbs would show through, drop them in, drop them in. Drop them in. Just here and there, wherever, wherever. These are your trees, so you have to make the decisions where you want them. Okay, maybe. We're not really concerned with it. Just here and there. A few little things that happen and play. Okay, now I'm going back and I'm going to get that same old dirty brush. Same old dirty brush. And let's go right into a little bit of Oh, this little cad yellow. Put some sap green into it. That makes it pretty. Maybe a little yellow ochre. Just brush mix these colors. Put them all together on the brush. Okay, let's go up here. And maybe, maybe, maybe right here. There's a little bit of light playing through there. and Just striking this tree. And all I'm doing is touching, tapping, 